Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. And turkey burger with onions, lots of onions. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tiny Lady T, and y'all already know where I'm at. I'm at Mama's house. I'm eating uh, a salad and a turkey burger on a Saturday night. I've been out and about, did a little shopping, feeling myself, you know, you know. Granddaughter Lauren's on the other side, she's looking at me like, uh, you know, you did all this, you got to do all the prep, prep, prep. I told her, yes, you have to do the prep. Anyway, I just got a grilled chicken and salad from Zaxby's. And then um, mom's in there with company. And like I said, a turkey sandwich. And of course, we're going to do ranch. But I have to prepare, prepare. I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. Getting prepared for the new year. Yeah. Miss Lauren, do you want to talk on camera? <laughs> You just want to watch me. I asked the man to put extra uh, lettuce on here. And he was like, uh, ma'am, I don't know how to ring it up. I, I was like, just tell the people that's fixing it to put some extra uh, lettuce. He said, uh, yes, ma'am. Just put extra lettuce. I mean, making a salad with extra lettuce. You know, get what you want. Now, what I do like about their salads is the lettuce is pretty well chopped up. I'm just cutting up some of this meat. So we can have enough for each bite. I got something to talk to y'all about. And it's good that Lauren's sitting here because it's kind of having to do with... <clears throat> Young girls growing up. Don't try to leave. Don't try to leave. But this is a good thing. This is not like a me teaching you. Well, you're learning something, but it don't have nothing to do with you per se, Lauren. Don't, don't even try it, Lauren. Y'all hear her doing deep sighs behind me I'm or behind tired. the camera. I'm tired. I'm trying to it. It's um probably going on six o'clock, I think. Man, let me hurry up and get the salad going so I can talk to my people. I've been on vacation. I've just been chilling. I'm vlogging over there on my main channel. Trying to keep up with what's going on. I made a mess. My shirt. Can't have that. And Lauren, you can tell me whether you've heard of this or not. It's called Quantaneres. It's when a young girl in the Hispanic community, when a young girl turns 15, they have their, they call it their quince, quince contenere. Somebody's going to correct me, and I do apologize for not... Quinceanera. 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 Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. It but, is. but anyway, um, HBO had a special, and oh, I was... Oh, I loved it. I think it's like equivalent to like whenever we have deputant, the deputant ball. I think when the girl is like, what is it, 15, 16, they have a deputant ball, and they get all dressed up and stuff. But anyway... It's part of the Hispanic culture uh, for those who can and, you know, have the money to do so. Anyway, they they did one with a girl that just from Cuba. Um, and it, I was just so fascinated 
And I look, I love culture. Oh, I love it. But anyway, those young girls, you know, they're introduced to society, if you will, from becoming a, a you know, they're a girl now, they're becoming a young woman. And so they um, get all dolled up and get their hair done, get their makeup done. And it's just, I really, really enjoyed listening to the history behind it and the, the fathers are so proud. You know, everybody's proud. Everybody's proud. And I just love that. I just love that. I really do. All right. And I know y'all would love for me to take a first bite. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. So, Lauren, have you ever seen a continent era? Pronounce it for me again. Quinceanera. Quinceanera. Yes. Or oh, when we do Sweet Sixteen. You want a Sweet Sixteen? You don't. You say that now. I'm serious. Mm. My mom made it easy. Mm. But anyway, I just love the way that how they prepare. Everybody in the family gets involved. You might have an aunt and uncle. They'll buy the food. Or if they don't have the money, everybody chips in and, and prepares the food. It's just really, really good documentary. And that's how you learn. And isn't that the truth in society? All we need to do is learn one another, learn each other's cultures. Instead of hating one culture over the other because you don't understand it. Step out of your comfort zone, step out of your box and learn about other cultures. Oh, it's, it's just fabulous. I love it. That was one thing I enjoyed about being an Air Force brat. It's the way we got to travel and experience other cultures. And that's the ultimate experience. But now, because we're so diverse everywhere, you can learn from other cultures just by being friends with people from other countries that are here. Learn about their culture. Learn about their traditions. Uh, that, that That's just so rich to me. Anyway, I enjoy it. Watching those shows. And that's why I love country music so much, too. I love all kinds of music. But I love watching the shows where they talk about what, what you know, how they came up, you know? Where they grew up, what they went through. See, we see the glitz and the glam, but honey, we don't know their story. And not that it's always got to be about gloom and doom. Oh, no, oh, no. Anyway. 
Mm. All of them. That's the bedroom. No, that's the kitchen. That way you want in the house other night. Mm. We need to cover it. We need to cover that for our lady. Matches my nails. Come home at night and turn that light on. I can see but yeah. Always yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We gotta find something to put up there. Mm -hmm. Even if you just get push rods. Mm -hmm. you know, like you I love the way they cut up their vegetables. Perfect bite sizes. If you get the rod, we got. I know we don't want. Mm. Drink some water, y'all. Somebody come at that door, they can see right in your, in your kitchen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Full of flavor. Because mm -hmm. the kitchen is flavor. the windows right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And you spend a lot of time sitting there reading your mail. And, mm -hmm. you know. yeah. So let's go to Walmart and get some of those. Just get one for the top. Just mm -hmm. temporary. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm. And put a grape up there. Mm. I'll feel better than both of them. In one of the episodes, Laura, say what is the name of it again? I don't like nobody looking at me. Oh, oh, pronounce it for me again. Quinceanera. Louder, so I can hear you. Quinceanera. Okay. In that episode, one of the episodes. The girl was 15 and she had a boyfriend. And of course her mom was telling her no touchy feelings and stuff like that. But anyway, I got to think of. Going back down memory lane now. Can y'all remember your first true love? Like your first boyfriend? Your first crush? Your first girlfriend? I mean, I, like I remember mine. I think I might have been maybe 13, 12 or 13 when I might have been younger than that. Maybe 11, 11-ish. And the first boy I kissed his name was John Lundy. But listen to me, y'all. Listen. I had the biggest crush on him. And you know how your girlfriends, your childhood friends, they run and tell him, of course. And he kind of liked me, so anyway, you know how that go back in the back in the day, and even now, ain't that right, Lauren? Don't tell somebody you like somebody because they'll run and tell them, won't they? <laughs> she shrugged her shoulders. Anyway, let me tell you. I used to love this boy. Because she knew how to dance. And back in the day when we were in the military on the base, on the Air Force base that we were stationed at. We would go to the youth center and we have dances and stuff on the weekend. So that was the thing. Everybody go to the youth center for the Saturday night dance, honey. Or it was Friday and Saturday. What? And he'd get out there and he would, he could do the pop lock and all that. Oh, you know, he was one of those boys that he would be dancing with two of the other homeboys or friends. But he was a standout. <laughs> he was the standout. 
he was the star of the group. I mean, he had so all. What I was is that he had, and then he could do the robot. And do, oh, what he could break dance. He do the spinning. Let me tell you, he was the show, honey. He was the miggity 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 Mac daddy. I say the miggity 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 Mac. And all the young girls was like, oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny. You know, yeah, we was, yeah. I mean, I grew up in the era, well, let me tell you, we would walk down the street and we would sing new edition songs, salt and pepper, whatever. Yeah, we were them. We were them. That's how we got out with boom boxes with the double D batteries <laughs> or the D batteries. These children don't know what D battery is. They look at me. Lauren, do you know what a double D battery is or a D battery is? Uh, no, they don't, they don't know. They don't know about that. So, when you had to have power to your boom boxes and the cassette tapes, forget about it. That's how we got down. We walk in the middle of the street, sing a new edition. Boys to men. Yeah, that was us. But Johnny and Lundy, it was like when everybody watched Michael Jackson when he was dancing. That's how it was when Johnny Lundy was dancing. I mean, everybody was like mesmerized. But here's the flaw, y'all. Y'all ready for the flaw? I remember it to this day. Y'all, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Johnny Leonard was all this and all that, and I, Lord, forgive me, I repent. I hope he don't ever run across one of my videos, but if he do, oh well, it's been, it's, it's some 35 years later. Y'all, that joke of breath stank. That joke of breath stank so bad, stunk so bad. He won't musty, didn't have funky chicken onion arms. I don't know what it was. That Joker breath stunk. Ooh, he had some stinking breath. But I overlooked all that because he was a dancer. <laughs> he could do the electric boogaloo. He could do the spin on the back. But honey, his breath was wiggity, 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 whack. <laughs> Hush, Lauren. Lauren's looking at me like, huh? Yeah. I didn't even say anything. Ooh, that boy breath stunk. Oh, my goodness. Hi, John. If you ever come across this video, hi, John. Remember me, Danya? Oh, my God. But he was my first love. I did. I fell in love with that boy. When he started dancing, it was short-lived. Back in those days, and probably still today, when you had a crush on a boy and you call yourself boyfriend and girlfriend, the, the most you did was maybe peck on the mouth and hold each other's hand, you know, or walking to the youth center and back from the youth center, you know. That's the extent of it. It maybe lasted all about three or four months, you know. Nothing for us to have, you know, get married and have children about, you know.
But anyway, that was my first love the break, to the breakdown zone. What's in that box? Uh. Mm. Oh, there's brownies in there. And cookies. Got some more brownies in there. Mmm. Oh, my God. I'm starting to get frustrated. Why? I was I'm reading a story on here. Uh huh. On YouTube and it said I have two choices to pick to make the right choice to save a girl. To save a girl for game? Yeah, like a game video. Oh. So what is your choice? What's your choices? I don't know there's so many, but each time I try to pick one out, someone ends up dying. And then she ends up dying, and I'm trying to pick the right choice. I've been through this like two hours now. Oh, really? Well, you have to write down the choices that you made before and don't repick them. I don't want Or similar choices that are causing that. I'm, there's only two choices, and I picked both of them. Oh. Well, that ain't, that ain't fair. Or, or, or unless both choices ends is the result. It is. Mm. I don't look like a good salad. What's she doing picking at that thing? Oh, no, she's biting her nail. Oh, I'm talking. Don't worry. I'm talking on my. I'm, I'm doing my YouTube video and the topic. I was telling everybody about my first love, my first crush, Ooh. and um, and I was saying he was he was he was all that in a bag of chips. He knew how to break dance. He knew how to do the electric boogaloo. He knew how to do you know the spinning on the back. But there was a flaw. Guess what? <laughs> There was a flaw. The flaw was that joke of breath stunk so bad. <laughs> that joke of breath was cut. God I'm out of that boy breath stunk. But I didn't care because he was a dancer. You put that online? Yeah. I talk, I don't put I don't put the disclaimer, you know, hey John, if you ever see this, uh listen, forgive me. It's 35 some years later. I uh, hope you brush your teeth in the goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Poor John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still recording, so don't say nothing if you don't want it on YouTube, but I had to let y'all know. <laughs> Anybody want to give up any secrets on their first love? They'll hear your voice. They just won't see your face. Oh, my God. That was, I mean, I'm telling you. Back in the day, oh my goodness, I was so in love with that boy. I mean, he was the star of the show. You know, you know, he was back back in those days. We used to Every get in little groups. Heartbeat. Yes, he was Every the lead dancer, mm -hmm. and he and he did the the yeah. oh, all yeah. that the best yeah. and the robot in the mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah. My my sister said that uh, uh, first crush. Oh, he was gorgeous oh, in school. Like, mm -hmm. She said she went to a school reunion and she saw this little rotund man mm -hmm. with no hair. And then he's like, oh, Karen. And she's like, who are you? She could not believe that this gorgeous young lad 
mm. turned into this rotund man. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Mm. She said, he said, you haven't changed. She goes, well, you sure have. Uh, uh, but that's something else, too. You see somebody and they will. What? This yeah. and that in high school, and you see them 20, 30 years later. And you wonder what? What happened? Yeah, and you're thinking, oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it's like, come, come sit down. Do you need to talk about what yeah. happened? And you're like, oh, I escaped. And then for the, and then it's, sometimes it's the reverse. People that you think wouldn't get nowhere because there was such a oh, yeah. terror. Yeah. Yeah. They come out to be turning yeah. their life around. They profess to show them to the doctors, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get joking. Funny enough, I was working with someone this week, and their breath was so bad. I'm like, oh. Mm. Mm. That cabbage, old, you know. Old oh, cabbage. Oh! Mm. Oh! Uh. Uh. Mm. That's the worst. Mm -hmm. I can deal with most things, but bad breath and yeah. just mustiness. I used to have this lady that worked for me. And I said to her, mm. Your breath is wilting the lettuce. <laughs> I, 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 I swear the lettuce seemed to go like this. I said, so I jumped in my car, went to Piggly Wiggly, and I bought mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush, and fluff. Oh! And I said, I'll take it out your wages at the end of the week because I'm getting it so much. And I said, oh! Mm. Horrible, horrible. Horrible. It was, it was so offensive. But like, remember, um, you asked um, Tansy about wonder waiters. Don't they won't say Oh, yeah. Ooh. 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 Mm. But you know, when I've had a friend, unfortunately, that had, that was it was so bad that she was the brunt of a lot of jokes. And I truly had to pull her aside and tell her. Now, she didn't talk to me for about two or three weeks. Mm. But there was no other way to say it than the way what I told her. I had to tell her what was, you know, what was being said, how everybody was picking at her. But it was so bad. It was so bad. It was like, it, it wasn't a, you know, you ate onions, you ate lunch. No, no, no. Mm -mm. When, when this person spoke, it, it, it left a cloud. Yeah. And if that cloud had a color, mm -hmm. Yeah, it will be <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't even and it say it makes you not want to breathe oh you it's like you it. it's yeah. like when you see the go, <gasps> and you done timed yourself at home yeah, to see yeah. how long you can hold your yeah, breath so yeah. like when it gets to about a minute when you, you're about to pass out yeah that's you that's when you say oh I, I gotta make a phone call mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I hate that oh, I because do. I'm always gonna don't you do that and mm -hmm. I, oh, actually, I know when my breast has a stinky mm -hmm. smell to it because I can taste it. Yeah. And so I like do when what, I have a cold. Or mm -hmm. And I have to brush well, mm -hmm. brush well, use the salt water goggles and the, the scope and the mm -hmm. Listerine and attack it back. You know? mm -hmm. But some people are like, don't you have a nose? Oh, and that's the most uncomfortable thing you have to talk to a, a good friend about, whether it be a good friend, a co-worker, whoever. But then that is the worst conversation to have with somebody about hygiene. Yeah, it is awful. Right? Oh, I know. It's like it's so uncomfortable that you're willing to not even say nothing just to be uncomfortable. That's how uncomfortable it is. That, uh, but this lady, she was working in the restaurant, and I couldn't take it. I said, your breath, it's offensive. Yeah. I was angry. I was angry. angry. It makes you angry. Yes. I was it makes you angry when you come across a person and it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's like, go to the doctor if you can't figure out what's going on. You got your foot in your mouth? What is it? What is it? Go see if there's something medical going on because that is ridiculous. It's a, it's a, because if that's coming out of your mouth, what's it doing to your inside? Oh. 
Mm. And like I said, I know the difference between somebody mm. that ate onions, garlic, you know. Mm. No, it was but just this like was a whole different type of. This was a old like a decay, thing. like yeah. a, a, a decay, yeah. and, it, and it came with a fog mm. along with it. It came with a soot. It's an it. unseen soot. Yeah. It's just, oh. Like when they speak, it's sooty, and it, and, it, and it's like you feel like it's on your eyelashes, and you just it's shitty. That's what yeah. <laughs> I can yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. They put mm. in it. Golly almighty. I mm. get I get so angry. I get, I'm gonna be I'm violent. I'm oh. mm -hmm. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Well, you wanna say hi to the people? Are we talking? Are we talking on things? I'll edit it out with you. Oh. Hey y'all, happy new year. I got on my yeah, well, headpiece today, so I feel like Mother Earth. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I got a, oh. little, got a little something, something going on in my throat. Hope y'all are having a happy new year. Hope your Christmas was good. You got all the gifts given and you received a lot of gifts and everybody's safe and sound. And that y'all are cooking and sticking to, uh, remember how we always talked about keeping prayers going up so the blessings could continue to come down. So until I cook for New Year's, I'm going to say to Lou to y'all. Hey. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm. well, I'm finna end this. Oh, I'm about yeah, to pop. Yeah. Like I made this the last piece of this checker burger. It is so nice. Now I gotta take one with the light on. Oh, the light was out when you took yeah. it But anyway, y'all. Y'all yeah, so know how we do nice. on the flavor train. Anything can happen. <laughs> But thanks for stopping on the flavor train because what? Hey, can get over there and tell them who what? Light, who light it is. Flavor yeah, is where it's at. This is crazy.